Kentucky at Tennessee, Sunday college basketball. Marco, who do you like and why? Well, RJ, I like Tennessee, and this is simple. Some people like to call it road and home dichotomy. I like to call it Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. It's easier to say. <laughs> Kentucky, 15-0 and 0 at home. They're only 6-8 and 8 on the road. Tennessee, this is a huge game for Tennessee. They play with revenge, but they need a signature win and a deep run in the SEC tournament to get into the big dance. Their stock's really fallen. You know, they were a top so 25 if, if team. if the season ended right now, they wouldn't be in? I don't think they would be in. They need this. They, you know, they do have a couple, you know, their signature win right now on their resume was that they went to Pitt and they upset the Pitt Panthers. One of the better wins of the year. One, it was their best win of the year. Uh, they did, well, I, I'm just saying one of the better wins of the year across the entire country. Absolutely. So if they can get, you know, Kentucky, even though Kentucky's not as strong on the road, the fact if they can get a, a win against Kentucky and then maybe get a couple wins in the SEC conference, you know, tournament. Right, so Tennessee max motivation. Kentucky's coming off back-to-back -back big games at home. They played Florida and Vanderbilt in their last two games. Florida's the first-place team. Vanderbilt was the second-place team. They overtook them with that win. So they're coming off two big games of their own. So a little bit of a letdown for them off of the two wins. They're in the big dance. Really, this game's not going to have any bearing so, on where they're at. All right, so here's what I'm hearing. Tennessee motivated. Kentucky, maybe not as much. Kentucky has a home road dichotomy and thus the public though probably one of the things we've talked about this year and even now the second time this week in these videos is the public doesn't always consider that home road as much and doesn't give proper they think kentucky they don't think a, a, a team that's six and eight or eight and six six and eight on the road. they don't think of a team under 500 on the road and that is offering us value Okay, so that's three. We always talk about the race to two and a half points of value. You've just given me three good reasons. Now, the last one, you gave me one. <laughs> and now you've given me three. I like it. Anything else? It's Tennessee, final home game, senior day. So like we talked about in the uh, one of our earlier videos, Kansas and Missouri, max motivation, you know, crowd-wise. It's like Cincinnati. You know. <laughs> yes, but we had, we had a different revenge motive in that game. But this is a nationally televised game on Sunday, primetime game on CBS. So, All right, so let's talk about that. That's one of your concepts. You've got a home game. Now you've got a home game on TV, more frenzy. You've got a home game on TV on a weekend, which brings out even more of the crowd. Absolutely. All right, so maximum home court. So everything's there. Um, it's been a little bit of a disappointing season. For, well, really a, a big disappointing season for Tennessee because they were a top 25 team you know, at the beginning of the that, season. But that's what makes college basketball different than college football is literally if Tennessee w wins out, they're going to win the national title. Absolutely. So there's always hope. So this would be the highlight of a disappointing season for them if they can knock off. Because whether Kentucky, Kentucky's one of those teams in basketball, it doesn't matter if the team's up or down at the time, it's Kentucky. So it would be a signature win for Tennessee. All right, what's your projected line? All right, this one, we, because they're playing on Sunday, we don't actually have the line. I'm projecting it. Kentucky come out a one-and-a-half-point favorite in this game. And you like Tennessee getting any points? Tennessee getting any points. And actually, even if Tennessee, if this would really surprise me and Tennessee come out minus one, I would actually so like So Tennessee getting, minus one or better? Yeah. All right, minus one or getting points? Absolutely. Or pick them? Yes, sir. You've, you've covered all the bases there. Well, we want to make sure. I am the advocate of the people. Are you the Ralph Nader of the sports world? No, though he did get Harvard Law School graduate, Ralph Nader. <laughs> smart guy. Okay. Though I didn't agree. I like the fact that, uh, well, we won't. That will be another podcast. <laughs> we don't get into the too much politics here. I'm going to agree with you. And for the same reason I disagreed with you on the Cincinnati pick, I'm going to agree with you on this one. So you should feel my – I've agreed with two of your four picks. Guys, I will sleep much better tonight knowing that RJ has agreed with me on a couple of the plays. Listen, after you eat that third plate of pasta, you're sleeping well no matter what. <laughs> All right. Oh, did you give an official projection? Tennessee, 76-71. They win it to close out their season at home. So when you put the sausage, let's take a minute, we got a minute. When you put the sausage in the pot, in the marinara, mm -hmm. 
Do you get the links and cut them up, or do you get the ground sausage? No, I get the links. I put the links in whole because you want you want to you know, really. Yeah. You do you 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 pan fry them just a little Wait, bit. Wait, the get first thing that our producers ever said <laughs> was, "Yeah, I think he's looking for some air time." <laughs> Wait, you know what we can do? Put it on this camera, Dustin. <laughs> Dustin we're going to have you do the fade out. You ready? <laughs> All right, do the fade out, Dustin. Say thanks for watching. Wait, wait, wait. You don't have the, you don't have the mic. You don't have, okay, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the fade out. We're done for this week. Be back next week and uh, talk to you then. This is Dustin. Yep.